My name is Tanya and I'm addicted to thrifting. Welcome back to my channel. Today I went to San Bernardino. I drove an hour to the San Bernardino outlet and I spent $20 and I got all of this stuff. So if you're interested in watching this Goodwill outlet haul, just go ahead and keep watching. So I didn't film anything while I was at the San Bernardino Goodwill outlet. I didn't get any footage. I started filming when I was on my way. I got a little bit from the outside of the building but I just completely forgot to film while I was inside but I only spent $20 and I was only there for about an hour and a half so I want to give a shout out to Melissa and Cynthia for inviting me on another just like reseller meetup shopping trip the last time we met up we went to a couple of yard sales and this time Melissa actually invited me to the Goodwill outlet in San Bernardino it was my first time at the San Bernardino outlet you know, just like any any Goodwill trip, whether you're going to a retail store or to the outlet, it's always going to be hit or miss. Like there's going to be days when you find amazing items. There's going to be days that you find not so great items. It's just the, the look of the draw of the day. And I mean, I think I got some good stuff and I only spent $20. So let me go ahead and show you what I found. So I spent $20 and... I thought I threw the receipt in here, but... Oh, here's the receipt. Okay, so here's my receipt, the San Bernardino outlet. So soft goods was $2.29 a pound, and hard goods was $1.19 a pound. So hard goods were the shoes. Shoes were classified as hard goods. I got 4.5 pounds. And my price was $5.36 for all of the shoes that I purchased. And I think I got like four pairs of shoes. Soft goods were all of the clothes. And I got 6.8 pounds of soft goods at $2.29 a pound. So $15.57 for this bag of clothes. Yeah, so altogether I paid $20.03. So let's go ahead and see what we got. So let's start with the shoes. I got some decent pair of shoes. I got these Lucky Brand boots. So I just sold a pair of Lucky Brand boots. I think it was this exact same pair of boots on ThreadUp. And I priced them high at $90 and they sold full price. So I might send these to ThreadUp again because they look brand new. I mean, there's um, some little scuffs, but yeah, I'm going to send them to thread up. Okay, so next up, these Sam Edelman sandals. They need to be cleaned up a bit, but I mean, there's wear, but I can clean them up. I mean, I think I can list them for $20 and get something out of them. So that's the second pair. Oops. So I got four pairs of shoes. Four pairs of shoes. Four pairs of shoes for five dollars and thirty six cents, so like a dollar and twenty five per pair. That's great because I mean, if you've gone to a Goodwill, you know that shoes are pretty much like you can't find shoes under ten dollars. I mean, good like Sam Edelman shoes, Lucky Brand shoes, like those shoes are always marked up now. So these, oh, another pair of Lucky Brand. These have wear, so I'm going to have to sell these myself. So, yeah, I'll just have to clean them up a bit, but they're kind of like these gladiator style sandals. So, two pairs. I actually found three pairs, but I couldn't find the matching shoe. Um, and they were some nice boots. So, another pair of Lucky Brand. And then I got these. Don't they look like those super popular Gucci shoes that are going around right now? But these are... Um, bandolino but they're brand new with tags they have no wear they're size nine i kind of want to keep them for myself but they have a label 34 dollars it says and klein are these and klein no but the brand is bandolino i kind of want to keep them 
So I don't know. I'll see. So I, those were the four pairs of shoes. Oh, and I got these this little Dooney and Burke keychain coin purse. So I have um I have a purse listed in my Poshmark closet, and I have another Dooney and Burke purse that I just sold today on eBay. So um, I don't know, maybe like ten bucks. I thought it was cute and it's um authentic. So on to the clothes. I didn't find anything special, but so I got this. It's a Cynthia. No, I thought Cynthia Rowley. No, it's Maggie London. It's I don't know. It was kind of kind of an outdated piece, but still very pretty. Has like this nice little sash asymmetrical cut and i got it because it's new with tags maggie london i think this is sold at um macy's but i don't know i might send it to thread up i'm gonna send it to thread up if they send it back to me then i'll list it on ebay or something but i mean for pretty much a dollar it's worth a try this little hoodie is Standard James Pierce. The little tag is a little undone, but I think I can stitch it up. So, cool. I got this Torrid, and at that, it's vintage Torrid. It's like early 2000s, Y2K, late 90s Torrid. This striped nautical top. It's missing the size tag, but I can just take measurements. I found this super cute Luella for Target. Cherry print mini skirt. Cherry print's really on trend right now, so I'm gonna list that. Let's see what else did I get? Oh, I found this Rocksteady. So Rocksteady is like a rockabilly retro pinup style brand so just like a simple little pencil skirt dress i'm gonna list that let's see oh i got this it looks kind of like if it's a disneyland like uniform but i think they sell it at the disney store it's the condor flats vest from california adventure it's missing the zipper oh my god oh no here it is so it's just this disneyland resort here's the label and it says disney's california adventure and it's just a blue vest and in the back it says the calif no it says condor flat condor flats airline so i think this is from the soaring over california ride so i'm not sure if it's an actual cast member i don't think so because it's from the disneyland resort store so that will get listed this is alice through the looking glass i think they sell these at hot topic but they're like these disneyland themed dresses i think it's missing there has to be like some sort of under skirt or under dress that goes with it but it's this really pretty kind of like 60s almost style crochet dress so i think it'll do well oh i found this what is it kangol the kangol kangul i don't know how to pronounce it this little it says it's a large but i don't know is this for kids How do you pronounce this? Kangol hat. Another vintage 90s piece. This is a rampage. But it's high waisted short, has the belt. Super cute. This this is something that I did not check comps on but i saw it and i just laughed because it's an it's an america bandana america is a soccer team from mexico city so i thought that was fun probably listed on ebay 
a ver para los para los chilangos I found this dress it looks like it's new with tags well it has the little plastic coil but it's just like a boutique brand it's called Fire Los Angeles but it's kind of like this cotton hippie maxi dress it's a size small I love these type of dresses this one I picked up again did not check any comps or anything but it's a Hawares t-shirt you know I love selling band t-shirts this is a small definitely a women's fit oh it's a large girl maybe a kid's large but maybe a lady size small now that'll go on posh this again I just picked it up because I thought it was cute for Halloween very punk rock these two little eternal lovers skeletons dancing in the moonlight with bats it's cute I thought it was cute this little cotton loft blouse. I have really bad luck with loft, but maybe I'll throw it, send it to thread up. And last but not least, I got a vintage Gap t-shirt, Gap Hawaii. There was a lot of um, just t-shirt resellers. You could tell there was a bunch of guys looking for t-shirts and it looked like they had found some really good stuff. So. Definitely early bird gets the worm. They were there since like probably 7 a.m. But I got this Gap Hawaii t-shirt. And that's it. That's everything that I got at the San Bernardino Goodwill outlet. Again, I did not need to go thrifting because I have amassed a pretty hefty death pile. But I mean, I just can never say no to thrifting. If you invite me to go thrifting, I'm going to go with you. So thank you so much, Melissa and Cynthia. It was nice seeing you girls. And hopefully we can do it again soon. All of these items will be listed. Well, if you see anything you like and you would like to buy it before I list it over on Poshmark or before I ship it over to ThreadUp, if I said I was going to send it to ThreadUp, comment down below let me know what your favorite find of mine was obviously i love a band t-shirt how what is i wish it was my size these shoes i definitely i kind of want to keep them they give me those 60s mod vibes i actually looked up the gucci ones because i wanted the gucci ones but yeah there's no way i'm gonna spend that much on Gucci shoes so these dupes will have to do for now I think I'm gonna keep them yep. thank you guys so much for tuning back in and watching my videos go ahead and give me a like leave me a comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already if you have any suggestions for videos feel free to comment down below and give me your ideas thank you guys so much for coming back and joining me every Monday and I'll see you next week Bye.